Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome and thanks for joining us uh, today for our session. Uh, we're super excited to uh, uh, be able to share and walk through this uh, journey on how Globus has uh, modernized their content operations. But before we get started, we'd like to do a quick introduction of who we are. So my name is Jeff Chung. I'm VP at Client Services. Uh, I've been with Accentium for uh, six years. Um, I have over 20 years of experience in the digital web space. Uh, ranging from the travel to hospitality, all the way through financial services. Um, spending the last nine years um, in the Cycle ecosystem, helping our clients deliver, um, strategize and deliver their solution. And with me today uh, presenting is Jeff Russell. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Russell. I'm the uh, Director of Marketing for the Globus Family of Brands. I have uh, 24 years of digital marketing experience. and the last 15 years, I've dedicated myself to the travel industry. They've all been fun, except the last year, thanks to COVID. Um, I'm responsible for all of our online marketing efforts, as well as the entire global web infrastructure for the company. Today, uh, Jeff and I are going to take you on this tour, uh, literally, uh, sort of what the Globus family of brands does, so you can understand the uh, size and scope of the project, as well as what we had to go through in the last um, year and a half. We basically took 15 years of legacy technology and uh, rebuilt, rebuilt it. Um, so we're going to talk about how we use Sitecore and Content Hub to basically transform everything in preparation sort of for the future of where things are going. Uh, we were very fortunate during this time period to have uh, the ability to do that. And so what we wanted to kind of share with you is um, how we got there. So the Globus family of brands is um, made up of four travel brands. Globus, Cosmos, Monogram, and Avalon Waterways. Our headquarters are in Lake Lugano, uh, so that beautiful photo behind you, I know everyone wishes they were probably there traveling. Uh, we wish you were there too. We sell um, tours, uh, packages, and river cruises, and we've got offices around the world. We have uh, over 5,000 employees, and we have 3,000 different uh, vacations we sell, and tens of thousands of departures every year. Um, we go to all 65 uh, countries, six continents, and we basically put together the entire vacation experience for our guests, including their airfare, transportation, and uh, various excursions and activities that they can do in the various uh, locations that they're traveling to. So what this ambitious project we had um, started before COVID, and we started it about uh, March of uh, 2020, is to redo everything. And that meant, you know, building this entire enterprise global solution. Um, and the whole project was more than just a technology project. It was really about, um, you know, improving our processes, our procedures, our communication, all the different teams that were involved, um, databases, and really um, thinking about how we can improve the entire content uh, lifecycle with marketing. Um, how we were going to get to uh, the market faster with products and vacations that we were selling, thinking about uh, a centralized system for not only our office in the United States, but also for offices around the world. Um, and the goal was trying to figure out not only the website as the hub with the content, but also how we were going to use this content for other channels, like email or social media, social marketing uh, um, platform. So, um, in addition to sort of the um, content, we also were, it was really important for us to think about you, uh, building uh, features and functionality that was going to be able to be used across all of our different websites, across all of our different organizations, and really thinking about the customer first, thinking about the, how we were going to uh, improve the customer journey uh, online, improve the brand, think about a personalized experience, all things that we didn't have with our, our legacy websites. So how we did this, you know, I'm going to share, uh, Jeff's going to take you through uh, basically uh, the project and describe to you our challenges and some of the solutions uh, that we uh, overcome. Thanks, Jeff. So as you can imagine, you know, with all the high ambitions that Globus had comes a lot of different challenges. Um, we were super excited to take it on. We were up for the challenge and we knew that it wasn't going to be an easy task. Um, given that there's each region had its own uh, infrastructure and its own architecture. Um, there was no globalization um, across the organization. 
uh, lots of different legacy platforms that uh, hinder the innovations for the marketing teams to be able to get creative on what they wanted to do. Um, maintaining and just managing the content for multiple systems in itself created a lot of inefficiencies and challenges there. Um, and on top of that, having to remember all the different knowledge from the systems of time over time uh, gets lost. So a lot of this is just a result of just too many systems over the years, too many silos and no connections. So how do we go through and kind of resolve this? So um, with all these challenges, it takes a lot of planning. So that was one of the things that the Globus team was super committed on was we wanted to do it right. We want to build this so that way it would sustain over the years to come. Uh, so it took a lot of planning, a lot of discovery, um, a lot of different uh, war room discussions. Um, it wasn't always pretty, uh, but ultimately everybody was brought to the table from all the teams that were impacted uh, to really come and help and shape the solution. So after months and months of uh, planning and preparing, um, what we ended up with is what you see here. So as you can see on the bottom half, you see the various teams that are impacted, um, everything from your upstream data where your operations teams, your inventory team, as well as your sales and marketing. All this data, the product information, um, as Jeff mentioned earlier in the slides, they have millions and millions of excursions that uh, data that's being managed and now it's being pushed into Content Hub. Content Hub then became the kind of the source of where all this information was aggregated. And from there, the marketing team now is enabled to be able to go and be have the tools to do their job more effectively by enriching this content. Uh, the development team is now able to focus on features and functionalities and extend a content hub very quickly and easily without fear of breaking things. Um, so now, now that the data is going into content hub, um, all that information gets enriched and then can be easily distributed to the downstream uh, sites. Yeah, we were super excited because it gave us an ability to really, you know, change our marketing team make us a lot more flex, you know, flexible, agile. We had, you know, only a couple of people who knew HTML and could actually update the content. Now we've got an army of people who can actually go into the Sitecore and Content Hub to edit the copy and manage this data. So that was a huge win, you know, from our side, this new infrastructure. So taking a look on just what it looks like and what it takes uh, for Globus's team to manage all the different relationships. Um, as Jeff mentioned earlier, there's tens of thousands of departures. There's millions of different excursions, ships information, itinerary, just all the things that, you know, that the consumers or travelers take for granted that the Globus team has dedicated team members managing and maintaining this. Um, and the, in the previous world, they were doing this manually They're through uh, team knowledge, team memories. And a lot of it was becoming a challenge on just making sure things were there. So with Content Hub, we were able to help kind of structure all those relationships, how the ships tie into which regions, which excursions tie into this, what products and brands and um, even the itineraries, how they tie together. And so what this really gave the ability for the Globus team is to be able to see how do we set all this up? where does the relationships live and what tie to, ties together. And it's now you can see it from a visual perspective, which is on the right graph. Um, and nobody has to remember it, but now they can just come in here and take a look at it and then be able to make changes to a particular um, relationship or add a new relationship if they add another ships um, or any information like that. So um, diving a little bit deeper um, as we're going to kind of how the product and content is managed um, again you know the the challenges that they faced were it was there's too many systems that were there um, and because of some of the limitations they had to manage in these multiple systems um, these and you, as you can see in the before picture here you can see that you know it's a very you know windows 95 um, looking like uh, where you have your different you know, tabs your different sections your different you know, information and the limitations of not being able to add enrich you know content or be able to uh, put any uh, sort of like formatting to it um, it was very limited there it also created multiple points of failures because when you have multiple legacy systems or multiple systems integrating with your site 
you know, that just, that just creates and generates more risks for uh, failure. So with Content Hub now that, now that all these legacy systems have been um, kind of centralized and, you know, aggregates into Content Hub, the amount of tools and ability and flexibility the marketing team has now is they can go in there and make changes very quickly. Um, there's data that can be passed into there where they can really take that uh, information and change it. Add. Um, Content Hub also gives the development team flexibility to make quick changes versus the legacy systems where you're afraid that something may break. Um, also that you can create um uh, information that you can share easily through your downstream channels. Similar to your products and contents, they ran the same issues with uh, their assets. Um, as you can imagine, you saw some of the great pictures that uh, uh, that were in the slides previous, um, but they have thousands and thousands of assets. Um, the way they organized it um, were in folder structures and whether it's in somebody's local drive or a shared drive, um, um, duplicating the assets uh, just so you can have multiple versions of it for, you know, your email or your social or even for like a mobile and tablet. Um, there was limited tagging capabilities of these assets where you can enrich, you know, add information into there. Um, there was no governance to this. Uh, and as well as there's just no search capabilities uh, to even know if I'm from the uh, Australia office to even know what assets are available for me. So all of this drives just kind of manual process, you know, the challenges there. Inside of Content Hub today now, they have, you know, using the dam and really taking advantage of it. Everything has been centralized uh, here. Um, now, they, you can see the graphics here, just the, just the clear difference between what it was uh, uh, yesterday and today. Um, the assets here have, you know, a lot more information related to it. Their ability to create multiple renditions for your different breakpoints uh, for your different channels that you can set up. Um, there's digital rights management for governance. You know, some of these assets may you know, have a one-year um, uh, copyright use. There's uh, workflows, which never existed for these assets, at least not within a system, where then now you know, Content Hub, content hub uh, helps with that process of being able to curate and you know, process that. So all of these things now centralized in a single location can be easily distributed, easily searchable, different regions, different office may be running a specific you know, campaign, but they can now come in here and be able to search what's available and see what's there. Um, so with that, you know, it, it really has improved um, just our overall process of that. So so some of the key outcomes, you know, obviously, you know, this was a massive project, um, but some of the key uh, outcomes that I just wanted to highlight here is, you know, now they have a global enterprise solution in place uh, for all brands, for all their global regions, for all their uh, multi-language sites. Um, the content and product information, the assets are now centralized in a single location. Um, where it's easily searchable, easily manageable, the efficiencies for the marketers and the, the content producers and even the development team where nobody's maintaining and managing multiple systems have been reduced. Um, the ability for multi-language, multi-site support is now there. Um, the, the complex internal systems is now uh, more simplified where all they're doing is passing the data um, into a content hub versus making changes and tweaking systems upstream instead they just send the data there um, and really ultimately just allowing you know the globe is to be very nimble and fast to market in terms of driving dynamic content to uh, their sites so it's been huge improvements and you know there's there's so many much more key outcomes but these are just some of the, the key highlights yeah, thanks. Thanks so much, Jeff. I mean, I can say that we never thought it was probably going to be possible, you know, to get where we are today. Uh, it took us about a year and a couple months to, you know, build this entire thing, which, you know, from, from our point of view, it was a huge under, you know, undertaking. Um, but, you know, we, we delivered one site in a year and we were like, is that good? But what, what's really good is that in the last, you know, four months, we've, we've actually launched eight more sites. So we've got nine sites up already. Um, I think we have a hundred that we probably are going to end up having in total. 
between all of the different countries that sell the Globus Family a brand uh, vacation. So that's really exciting to think about where we're going. Um, we have, like I mentioned before, about 3,000 different uh, vacations, river cruises, and tours we sell. Um, and those, you know, we needed a way to really quickly get those ready. Those itineraries delivered to the website. We've got lots of marketing campaigns, lots of different content and assets to sell these vacations from videos to photography to maps. And so how do we get all that content delivered quickly and not only to the website using Content Hub, but also to the different uh, different channels? So we've got things like emails that we want to put out there. We want uh, social media platforms to be able to utilize these content, all with the goal of driving you know more bookings, more leads. We've got different ways that guests can fill out forms, websites, uh, site core forms on, on the websites. And what was not in the old sites was ways for us to manage uh, and measure the effectiveness of any of this. So the future really allows us to um, think about how we manage and monitor and then look at what vacations people are interested in. As we get back to travel, you know, knowing what uh, destinations people want to go to and helps us you know, really go back and after and retarget and remarket those people. So this life cycle that we've built not only works for right now, but also for the future as we think about, you know, this travel comeback. So in the future, you know, where we will be with um, travel is, is kind of unpredictable as we come out of this pandemic. You know, we really hope that uh, we were ready for it. The goal for us was to deliver all of this, you know, build this during this time period. So that way, when we got back, we were primed and ready for travel to come back. You know, we hope one day that, you know, maybe you, know, you get back to travel yourself. Uh, maybe you'll even try one of the Globus Family of Brands uh, vacations and, you know, um, join us on, on, a, on a vacation in the future. And so, you know, Jeff and I wanted to, you know, really share this experience with everyone. It's been, you know, close to our hearts as, you know, being part of the travel industry, having a great partner, and thinking about how we can deliver this solution you know, going into the future, um, where where travel is going to go and where the global family brand is going to go. So, Jeff, anything else you'd like to say or any other comments before we uh, end our session today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, obviously it's been a tough year. Um, uh, past you know 12, 12 months or so uh, it's been really a uh, challenging but you know it, to to see to see globus kind of succeed through this and be able to uh really want to work through this uh, was, was fantastic it was a great project it was uh very challenging but at the same time it was very fulfilling so i'm super excited to be able to get to share this uh, story with you all and um you know happy to now take on some questions thanks everyone